Google had some exciting announcements this year at ISTE Live 2025. Gemini is fully incorporated into Google Classroom now. And the fun part is we have access because we have Education Plus. So we're gonna take a look at these new features and then I'm gonna dive into the lesson plan creator option. So let's get started. When you go to your Google Classroom homepage, you'll see a new tab on the left-hand side of your Google Classroom called Gemini. Clicking on Gemini will reveal a list of new tools, including the option to outline a lesson plan, generate a quiz, re-level text, create a rubric, and then you see this one with the little star. What that's called is a gem and we will get into gems in another video. So we've got brainstorm project idea, generate text dependent questions, and you can see um, all of those right there, but you can click show more and then you get even more. So they are also um, organized by different um, buckets. So we have planning. So these are different ways that they can help you plan, instructional material, assessment, support students, and then administrative tasks. Essentially, this brings many AI capabilities that you may have previously used other services for directly into Workspace for Education. It simplifies your tool suite, so everything's right here, and ensures your data remains secure. And Gemini is what Google calls a core service. So it is part of Google for Education. It is created by educators. So when you interact with Gemini, it does not use that interaction, those prompts, that um, the information that you put into Gemini, it does not use that information to train other models. So it is very secure. Let's start by outlining a lesson plan. So we're gonna click on this very first one. You'll need to provide a target grade and describe the topic and standards you want to teach. So for this one, I will do sixth grade. And then you have two different options. The template would be a general lesson plan template, or if you use the 5E model, which is used a lot in science, you could select the 5E. I'm gonna do general. Our topic is going to be key people in the history of computer science. While you can add learning objectives and goals, we're just gonna keep it pretty simple for this demo. Another great feature is the ability to upload your own text or data. Gemini can access this text and generate a lesson plan based on it. But if I would click on this, just to show you what it looks like, it'll grab your recent files. You can also upload anything that you have on your computer. So maybe you have a PDF, um, and then you can go to My Drive, Shared Drives, and then shared with me. But for this, we're gonna keep it kind of simple. So now I'm gonna click Generate Learning Objectives. So after generating the learning objectives, you can see the results. For our lesson, the objectives are that students will be able to identify at least two key individuals who made important contrib contributions to the history of computer science, and students will be able to describe in simple terms one major achievement of each of the identified key individuals. So down here, you can describe your class. For example, you can specify that you have three students um, that are English language learners um, who speak Arabic or whatever um, language. You could say I have a couple kids that are on IEPs or 504s. Um, and then you could even do interests um, for your students as a whole. And you're, you could say you have 30 kids in your class. Um, that is optional. I'm going to skip that for this demo. Now I'm going to go down to generate lesson plan. 
So once you hit generate lesson plan, Gemini quickly gets to work for you. And within like less than a minute, that took I think 20 seconds, you'll have a fully fleshed out lesson plan titled, what do we got? We got Pioneers of the Digital Age. And this plan includes an, a lesson overview, a list of materials needed, preparation required. And one of the really nice features with which is developed with education in mind is the in which is the addition of the common misconceptions and about how to respond to them which this is really nice if you're a new teacher or for those t uh, teaching an unfamiliar subject so once i look at it and i'm going to scroll down i've got three activities i can scroll down here to the bottom and then we can further modify this lesson plan through a back and forth conversation with Gemini. Gemini even provides suggestions such as provide three alternative activities, modify the activities to include a soccer theme, modify the lesson with more strategies for ELL learners. Or you can, you can take those three suggestions or you can type in your own. So um, I'm gonna put add more scaffolding and let's see what it does and then I just hit enter or you can hit the little um, little arrow and so it is going to look at the entire lesson plan and add more scaffolding so we can take a look we got our common misconception do, 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 do. it's pretty it's pretty slick and of course you can keep going back and forth if you're not if you don't like it or you know you want it shorter or maybe you have to do this lesson over three days and you only have a half an hour each day, you could, you could put in that. So the more you go back and forth, you're not stuck with what it gives you. You can go back and forth with the AI to get exactly what you want. So once you're happy with your lesson plan, you can export it directly to Google Docs. So here's a little export. And this ex exports the entire lesson plan including all the activities scaffolding into a ready to use document. So here we go. So it just put it right into a Google Doc. Now let's jump back into Google Classroom and generate a quiz based on the same topic and learning objectives. And we can choose the type of questions such as multiple choice, true or false, or short answer. So when I scroll down right here, I have these options to generate resources. So I could find relevant videos. So if you're looking for a video, you can create more hooks to get your class engaged or right here, generate a quiz. So I'm gonna click on generate quiz. It's grabbing our learning objectives from that um, lesson plan that we started. We have our choice of multiple choice, true or false, short answer, long answer. I'm just gonna do true or false because I just want a real quick exit ticket. And then I'm gonna generate. And then within seconds, it creates a quiz. So we've got um, three questions. So we've got Lovelace is known for writing the first algorithm intended to be processed by a machine. So true or false, it gives us a correct answer, which is true. If we like all of those, we can click export and this is where the real magic happens. No more cutting and pasting into Google Forms. It will just create it. But before you leave this page, you could say generate a set of potential essay questions, create more difficult version, um, designate, I'm sorry, design the quiz questions to progress from um, easy to more difficult or you could just tell Gemini what you want I'm happy with this because I just want a quick exit ticket and um, so right now I'm going to click export and I'm going to export to forms and the questions are automatically populated and the correct answers are already selected, saving you a huge amount of time. So if I click in here, we've got um, the uh, 
correct answer is already selected. I do. I did notice that it does say zero points, so um, you would want to change that. So if I click on answer key, I can make that however many points I want. So just know that it does, for some reason, default to zero. That could be something in my form settings, actually, now that I say that. Um, but just watch that to make sure that if you are giving points for this. But like I said, this is just a, um, an exit ticket for me. Now this, I would probably wanna change the title of my Google form, and this is fully editable. Um, I could get rid of that, change this, do key people in the history of computer science. Now that sounds a little better. And what's nice about this, I just noticed it's already published. So you might want to click on that and just take a look. It's saying the responders, people that can respond, um, is anyone in Washington local schools. So if you would want to change that, and if you want it, anyone with the link can view, you can change that if you want to. But usually when we're making a, a quiz for our students, we want to keep it in-house. Um, and then you can grab that link and click um, done. You can put it in your Google Classroom. I'm going to save. And of course, you can add more questions if you want to add more questions. So that is lesson plan and within that lesson plan is the quiz. Let's do one more. So the other one I want to show you real quick is the choice board. So build a choice board. So let's make this fourth grade and let's just do land forms. And once again, I could upload a presentation for my drive, a study guide on land forms from my, from my drive. Um, but I'm just gonna put landforms, let's see what it does. So it's gonna give us suggested learning objectives. Students will be able to identify and describe, explain how weathering and erosion can change the shape of landforms. Sounds good to me. Once again, you can definitely change these to specific objectives that you have. And then I'm gonna generate the choice board. And Gem and I will produce a choice board with different options. So we've got a, cho a choice board of creating a diorama, um, design a comic strip, create a fact file, and then it's got the approximate times, and that's pretty slick. And you notice there are the this disclosure at the bottom. Generative AI can make mistakes, including about people, so double check it. Of course, we want to use our human brain. I'm showing you quickly how you can use this tool. Of course, I would want to look this over and make sure that it is appropriate for my class. And I could export it to Docs. So let me just show you what that looks like. And exporting it to Docs will give you the ability to um, edit it. So if you wanted to change um, some different things, you could. And if you're like me, I'm immediately thinking I want to move this around and make it look a little a little nicer but hey it's not bad let's go back here and i want to show you this other option is to add to class so i can choose one of my classes from my google classroom class type is this an assignment a question or material i'm going to make it an assignment i'm going to confirm And then it puts the choice board right in here. It says students can view. They don't really need to interact with the choice board, so I say that sounds good. Um, you wanna put a choice board assignment, add some instructions, and then we've got assign to all students. If I click this, it will allow me to select. Um, I have my two students but you can also now create groups. Um, but I'm gonna just send it to all students. Always put a due date, that definitely, it, it just helps your students stay organized. You can always change the due date, but setting a due date um, does help. And then I'm gonna put it under assignments. You could add a grading category, all that fun stuff. 
I'm going to click assignment and then let me go into the student side just so you can see what it looks like there we go choice board assignments view instructions and this is the student side so I could just look at this I've got my choice board I pick what I want and then I can go back and I can add maybe if I did the presentation I could add my slideshow and my document or whatever your uh, parameters are for your assignment so these are just two huge time savers right there um, and this just scratches the surface. So I'm gonna to continue to make videos that outline the different features. Um, I do wanna get one out about the gems because the gems are pretty amazing. Um, but these, uh, these updates that were announced at ISTE, they're massive leap forward for Google Workspace. I hope that you found this helpful. Please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. And if you ring the bell, you'll get notifications for whenever I um, post a new video so you can um, uh, stay up to date. All right, have a great day.